Hi, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. In this video, we're gonna add some microphone preamps into the front of some of the guitar amp simulators that come with the Universal Audio Apollo interface. Now, before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe and click on that little bell button and you'll be notified of any future videos that come out from the Studio Rats. And thank you to everyone that's bought me a coffee. I really do appreciate it. If you wanna buy me a coffee, you can do in the link in the notes below. Many great recordings have been made by plugging a guitar straight into a recording console, something like a Neve or an SSL, and then taking an output from that channel and then running them into a guitar amplifier for some extra gain and some extra mojo. One of the great things about the Universal Audio Apollo interfaces and the console software is that we can use a microphone preamp such as a Neve, an SSL, API, etc., and then we can run those preamps straight into a guitar amp simulator that also comes on the UAD platform. I've loaded the Train 2 amp simulator into the first slot in my inserts. And if I click on my Unison preamps here and I go down to preamps and channel strips, I've got all of these choices here of different preamps. Now, all of these different preamp types have different circuits. So for instance, we've got the UA610, which is a valve preamp. Uh, we've got the Manly Voxbox, again, which is a valve preamp. And also we've got the Neves and the SSLs, which are transistor-based preamps. So first of all, let's load in a UA610A, which comes with the UAD platform. Platform. So let's bypass it first of all so you can hear how the amplifier sounds on its own. So what we're going to do first of all is to bring down the output stage of the preamp. And what we're going to do is to use the level as our overdrive control. So we're basically going to be running a higher input level into the front of the amp. So let's turn that up. Let's bypass it and bring it in. Now it has a really basic EQ on the 610, so if we want to give it a little bit more top end we can do. And also let's give it some bottom end as well. So as I said earlier, this is a valve based preamp. Let's click on our assign button here and I'm gonna change the preamp. Now let's change it to a Neve 1073. The Neve 1073 has a very different preamp circuit. But again, what we're gonna do is to bring back the output level and let's turn up the preamp level. So what we've got here is almost like a gated fuzz tone, and that is the particular characteristics of this preamp. So what I'm gonna do is let's roll off the bottom a little bit and let's just give it a little bit of top end. When I play, you can also hear the choppiness, just like you'd get from a gated fuzz. Now, the interesting thing about the Neve and the 610 preamp is they do sound very different because they are different circuits. But if I click here again, and let's assign that now, let's choose the Neve 1084. Now, the 1084 is a more modern circuit. So what I'm gonna do again is bring back the output, so we're balancing it, and let's turn up the input. So again, this sounds completely different to the first two. Right, let's take that out. And now let's load something like the V76 in. So the V76 is a very early style preamp. Let's bring back the output and let's turn up the gain. And again, we get a fuzz sort of tone out of it. And what's different about this to the 1073 is the 1073 was like a gated fuzz, and this is more like a fuzz face. So we get much more Hendrix sort of sounds out of it. Now there's a few guitar pedals that you can buy that emulate these circuits. BAE make one which emulates the Neve and JHS also make one called the Colorbox. And there's plenty of other pedal manufacturers that are making these sort of circuits. Right, let's change the preamp again. Let's click a sign 
And this time, let's load in something like the Manly Box Box. So let's bring back the gain. Let's turn up the input. <laughs> The Vox Box sounds different. Again, this sounds like pretty much a classic sort of overdrive pedal. What I'm gonna do here is just to increase the top end. Now, another great feature of the Vox Box is this mid dip function. And now we can get a scoop sound out of it. If you are looking to add a little bit more gain and a little bit more vibe to these guitar amp simulators, don't be afraid of dialing in some of the microphone preamp emulations that you have inside of your Universal Audio Apollo interface. I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. I hope you guys got something out of that. Don't forget to like and subscribe and you'll be notified of any future videos that come out from the Studio Rats. I'm Paul and I'll see you next time. Cheers.